All right, so let's take a look at the arc filter page that we have uh, been skipping and I talked about a little bit in the previous video. Um, I have the last pocket we did, uh, that toolpath on um, uh, the final depth with the hexagon as the island. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show you a tool here called Analyze Toolpath. It's in the Home tab. You can select that and then select any piece on this blue line and it pretty much shows you each move. And what you can see is that this is not a G2 or G3 circular interpolation helixing down. This is a bunch of G1 small linear moves working down. Okay, same thing in here. You have a big straight line and even these little arcs, we zoom in. Okay, there's a G3, there's a G1, G1. Okay, so most of these moves are small straight line moves. Okay. So that is not a problem. A length of code is really not a problem with many of the newer controllers, but it you know it makes some things unnecessary. Um, some people like to refine this uh, using some of the arc filtering tools. All right, so let's get out of here and let's just take a look. Um, we're going to focus on Operation Four. So right now, uh, I'm going to take a look at the code for Operation Four right now. I'm not going to post all. Just going to focus on Op Four for now. Okay, and I want to see how many lines of code this is. Right. Again, take note of how long it ta it's taken to post this. All right. We'll take a look here. This uh, pocket itself is just under 20,000 lines of code. Okay, right here. All right. So let's exit out of here and let's go into this toolpath in parameters and let's check out the arc filtering. Now, the first thing on the top is total tolerance. That is the tolerance of the toolpath to the chain geometry or, you know, the, where the toolpath should be. It defaults to 1 thou. We are leaving, if we take a look at this operation, we're leaving 5 thou. Um, you could really increase that a little bit. We're not going to do that right now. Okay, I want to talk about other things and then we'll start messing with some settings and showing you what happens. Cut tolerance, um, you can change that with this with the slider um, once you have line arc filtering those settings on and that balances line arc tolerances, smoothing tolerances with the cut tolerance and a percentage of this total, it breaks it up. Okay, um, typically I'll put those around 50% uh, for something like this. Um, when it comes to 3D milling, some of the, some of the things change. All right, now line arc filtering. That kicks out arcs, okay? In our case, it's going to be you pick which plane you want them to be and depends on what you're working with. We're going to the G17, the XY plane is where we would want it, all right? Uh, gives you, you know, the, the minimum arc and maximum arc that the machine could create, all right? Um, use maximum tolerance value for both. I always have that on, all right? And then you could tighten the, the arc filtering tolerance, Okay, line filtering or the arc filtering tolerance. I don't really mess with them too much for this. Uh, pretty much, it's amazing just by clicking this, what it would do. General rule is line arc filtering will reduce the amount of code because there's less G1, little G1 moves. While smoothing will typically increase it, uh, generally, it doesn't really affect us here, but if you want to think of these, line arc filtering is pretty much for geometric shapes, while smoothing is more for free form. Okay, and again, again, all that information is in help. All right, it goes right through line arc filtering and it gives you guidelines for it. All right, so make sure you read that and check it out. Okay, it does focus on 3D milling. All right, so just read that for now and start really understanding it because we will we'll be using it more. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to turn line arc filtering off and I'm, I'm going to mess with the tolerance. We have a, we're leaving 5 thou on the wall. I really don't want to vary more than like 2 thou on this toolpath, let's just increase total tolerance to two thousands, okay? Let's hit green check. I wouldn't go much more than that. I don't think there's a need to. If you were leaving like 25 thou, it, it would be different. All right, so I regenerated this. Let's see what happens. All right, now I have a stopwatch here to watch it regenerate. So we are gonna put everything um, on our lines of code. Before we had just under 20,000 lines, and let's see if there's any difference here, just by increasing tolerance uh, to two thousands from one thousands. All right. And again, that tolerance is the tolerance of the tool path from what you chained or the true part geometry, the allowable tolerance. So let's go to G1, post it. 
All right, I'm just going to overwrite it. We knew it was around 20,000 lines. And let's see what uh, we got here. All right. It is taking a little bit to load up. Let's see if we have any change. All right. Let's crush it on the bottom. A little bit. All right. Not much. Okay. So it did reduce the code uh, here a little bit. Ignore the line numbers. Um, that did change. Uh, but this re these these default to recycling at 10,000 I think lines. So I always ignore those line numbers. I always look at these line numbers. This is for this is how many lines of code there actually are. All right. So it did reduce the um, lines a little bit. All right. Not a big change. And again, we saw that with regenerating and things like that. So let's go back to parameters and let's put the total tolerance back to the default 1,000s value. And let's just tur turn line arc filtering on. Okay, leave it on G17. I'm not going to worry about one-way filtering or anything. I'm going to leave everything. Just literally turn line arc filtering on. Then hit green check. Okay, then regenerate the operation. All right, give it a minute. Again, this is, we put the total tolerance back to one thousandths which is default, and all we did was check line arc filtering on the left-hand column. All right. So let's post this operation. And let's see how many line lines of code we have. Right, 10,210. So that cut the program in half right there. Okay, because the program now is broken up into a lot of arcs. So we'll go into here and you'll see, look how big the arcs are now where they weren't before. Okay, now we're still going to see some little breaks here. So let's uh, work on that. Let's go back to our parameters. Okay. And let's do output 3D arc entry motion. Okay. And that will break that helix into full arcs. All right. And what I want to do now is move this cursor to 50%. 50-50 of the cut tolerance. So the line arc tolerance and the cut tolerance are split in half. All right. We could put that to two. But let's just do that, you know, one thing for now. Okay. This is generally what I do. Hit green check. Regenerate the operation. And again, normally I would I would do this as I was creating the tool pass, but I wanted to have something to show you what the changes were. All right. Regenerates the operation. Okay. Let's go to analyze tool path. Let's take a look at the see how they're big arcs now. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's take a look down here. See the arcs. See how they're much larger? These are a bunch of G1 moves. That's a G3 move. Okay. Much smoother over here. Bunch of G3s. No more real small G1 moves. All right. Let's just post that operation. Let's see if we got any further reduction. We were at about 10,000 lines before, which was a 50% reduction from no changes. Check this out and see how quicker, how much quicker that was. Look at that, 5,000 lines of code right here. Okay, see how it restarts at 10,000 lines. Okay, 5,000 lines of code. These are by tens, so just keep that in mind. That's why it's so much more. So we just reduced that. You know, it's 25% of what it was originally. It was 20,000 lines. We're just under, we're under 5,000 lines. Okay, that's a lot less going on. Okay, now it's not a bad idea. We'll do that to the rest of these passes. Okay, um, one thing to watch out for: the total tolerance. Again, I could kick that up to 2,000. It's probably, it's not going to really mess with this particular tool path too much. Again, we're leaving 5,000 on the walls to finish. I'm not really worried about it. Um, 
but there's such a reduction there you know i don't think it's really worth messing with the big thing that really saved us on program length was line arc filtering and then making sure that these run 50 percent okay split the, the total cut tolerance uh between line arc and the, the actual cut tolerance and then output 3d arc entry motion save us a lot in the helix on the way in uh, other smoothing settings there is one smoothing setting which is minimized number of points that also can reduce but generally just you know forget about smoothing for now this is enough you know we did just with a few clicks it really reduced that program size now again modern controllers don't care okay but this is not anything elaborate i don't think you're gaining much especially in this type of tool path by not using this um you know it's an arc move having a bunch of little moves i don't think i think this is superior all right we'll hit green check and let's go through and um change that for all these okay make sure you're in the middle you could actually type in if you like all right that looks good click that green check and let's do them all while we're at it the last one here okay let's go right in the middle and again there we go green check and let's uh, select the two operations we did change we're not going to change the facing just the dynamic stuff and we'll regenerate those two let them go There are some other tips and tricks um, I don't really worry about. Um, these aren't regener These aren't taking too long to regenerate, but if, if for whatever reason this was taking like five minutes, which would be really aggravating. Um, first thing is your computer probably not running, the processor's probably not strong enough, but or fast enough. But uh, there are some tips to help this regenerate faster, okay? Um, once this regenerates, we'll talk about that. I'll show you. Uh, pretty much it has to do with step over. Instead of using 10%, um, increase that a little bit on everything get everything kind of dialed in and then change that later um, it does make everything go faster okay so let's minimize everything select all and let's um, let's run the operation let's also let's take a look at operation two while we're at it actually uh, we'll turn that on go to analyze tool path and check out what's going on again nice big arcs see how big the lines are instead of a bunch of little g1 moves you're seeing a lot of sweeping movements. Okay, that's what you want to see. All right, get out of there. Okay, select everything. Uh, let's run it and see what it looks like. Should be a lot less NCI data to process for uh, the software. All right, again, that is quicker than usual. Okay, and uh, let's turn the performance up, and let's turn the color loop on, and let's turn the speed up, and hit play, and you'll see it does process faster. Okay, you'll see that it's just smoother. Um, you're, you're not going to cycle times are not a concern here. Um, you know, I have never worried about cycle times with this. This is all about creating the smoothest, uh, you know, code possible, least amount of code. I know modern controllers don't really care, but I don't think that this, I want as short as code as possible, okay, to give you the same results. This is roughing. There's there's no reason, in my eyes at least, to have a bunch of little G1 moves on geometry like this when you could sweep the arcs, um, have less code, and it's going to be a smoother operation to me, all right? Again, it looks good. It, it you know, regenerated real quick, okay? Uh, you take a look at some of the file sizes all right they are substantially smaller they were a lot more now remember we were at 20,000 lines for just op 4 all right if we post this code post every operation all right remember that's 20,000 lines for just op 4 we reduced it to about 5,000 by using the arc filter all right let's take a look at all of the operations the entire program, everything, is 50% less. It, it's, it's less than that. We were, we were at 19,322 or something. We're at 8,443 for everything. That is a, that is a you know, greater than 50% reduction in code size. Okay? 
Um, and again, make sure you use that analyze toolpath tool, tool. It is very helpful. It really shows you what's going on. You know, big arcs there. It's nice. So you can really see what's going on. All right, so that's arc filter. I recommend you use that in the, here on out. Um, you know, there are times I don't use it. Haven't noticed a big change. Um, I think it dogs down Mastercam a little bit. If you don't turn it on, I have I don't even, now that's on modern controllers and new controllers that like the school would have, the brand new machines. They don't care about the length of code. They, they really don't. They have so much memory, it's irrelevant. The older machines, uh, like where I, where I used to work, you know, they were three and a half inch floppy. We were limited on file size. And the arc filter definitely comes into play there. Okay. And it will come into play with 3D milling and, and big time in 3D milling as far as how smooth your finished cuts are. All right. I'm not really worried about it. You know, here is just about code reduction and making the toolpath a little more efficient. Okay.